Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running an Amazon Linux VM in VirtualBox. To begin, make sure you have 7-zip installed, then download ImageBurn, the Amazon Linux VDI file, as well as seed.iso. With all the downloads completed, navigate to your downloads directory, then right-click on seed.iso and extract it with 7-zip. Navigate into the extracted seed folder, then edit metadata in a text editor like Notepad++. In this file, you can configure the host name as well as the network configuration. I'll just be updating the host name for this example. Save your changes and close out of the file. Back in the seed directory, edit the user data file in a text editor. This file allows you to configure the user accounts inside the VM. I'm going to comment out the default EC2-user account, remove the user2 account, and update the user1 example with a new username and password. Once completed, save your changes and close out of the file. We now have our updated metadata and user data files. Now we need to put them back into an ISO. We'll do this using the ImageBurn application. You can either install ImageBurn or right click on it and extract it with 7-zip. Once it's extracted, you can just launch the exe from the extracted folder. Select the Create Image File from Files Folders option. Select the Add Files option, then browse to and select the updated seed ISO files we just created. Click the Browse button next to Destination then set the path and file name to save the ISO file to. Click the Options tab at the top right of the screen, then set the file system to ISO 9660 plus Joliet. Now select the Labels tab and set both volume labels to CI data. Once completed, click the large button at the bottom left of the screen to create the ISO file. With our updated ISO file generated, we can close out of ImageBurn. With all the prep work out of the way, launch VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. Give the machine a name and set the folder. Set the OS version to other Linux 64-bit. Expand the hardware options and update the base memory and processor count. Expand the hard disk options then select the option to do not add a virtual disk and click finish. Right click on the new virtual machine and select show and explore. Now we need to copy the updated c.iso file as well as the downloaded VDI file to our virtual machine folder. Back in the VirtualBox UI, make sure the Amazon Linux VM is selected, then select settings. Select Storage from the left navigation menu, then click on the SATA controller and select the option to attach a virtual disk. Click the Add button and select the Amazon Linux VDI we downloaded earlier. Now click the option to add an optical disk. Click the Add button and select the updated c.iso file. You should now have the VDI and c.iso files attached to the VM storage. Lastly, select Network from the left navigation and set the Attach To option to Bridge Adapter. Click OK to save the settings, then start the VM. Once the boot process completes, log in using the credentials you set up in the user data file. Welcome to Amazon Linux, running as a VM in VirtualBox.